morning. Morning. We're heading to the clinic to do the measurements on the ult and the ultrasound on the blood test and I've had the worst night ever. <clears throat> I don't know what it can, can be compared to. I don't know if this is from this or what, but I've just had, um, I went to dinner last night at, I don't know what time, six, six about yeah. six, and it started, my stomach, my body started hurting so bad sitting there eating. I was like leaning over in the, in the chair thing or whatever, the booth. And uh, we had to go, like, I, and I didn't eat that much either. I just didn't eat that Not much. Yet. I got like some soup and some salad and I just didn't eat very much of it. But my stomach started getting upset. So last night whenever I took the shot, um, my stomach was like kind of off and I have a really sensitive stomach so, and I have not been drinking a lot of water this weekend. I don't know, I've just been lazy I guess. I don't know, I'm just not doing it. Um, I think I might be dehydrated. So last night I was having the pains of the follicles and the pressure and I was just in the bathroom like, I don't know, every 20 minutes or something until like 4.30 this morning. And I yeah. um, woke up at seven and my alarm was sick again. I just can't, it's right now. And I can take Tums, so I didn't take them because I don't really hold that, so. Yeah. Usually we take a modium. Apparently I'm addicted to over-the-counter pain meds. Not really, but I definitely use them. Yeah. yeah. They serve a purpose in my life for right now. So, yeah. I'm very clear right now that when we go in, triggering is the only option for me today. So that's happening. Like, this is not a conversation anymore. This is just what time am I doing the trigger? Yeah. Because this is, this is physically killing me. And I don't think this is. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I, whatever is happening in my body right now has to stop. Yeah. It was bad. Okay. Yep. So I had a mental breakdown too. Emotional crying. Yeah. And I'm afraid to throw up, which we talked about in the past. I just feel like I was gonna throw up all night. <sighs> so. Yep. This is my dreary, shitty attitude, mood situation again. Welcome. <laughs> I wish I was a positive person now. I don't know. I'm not anymore. I'm just giving up hope of life. I'm like, okay. And I'm afraid I'm going to be going into the clinic needing to get off the table for my stomach. And I mean, it is what it is. They deal with people all the time. They'll deal with me. Yeah. It'll be okay. <sighs> <clears throat> That's Chelsea. She doesn't sleep anymore either. <laughs> I don't know that I would recommend this to anyone <clears throat> right now. But yeah, but I, mean, I don't know that anybody we, recommends having a baby while the baby's coming out of their body. So you know, yeah. I think it could be a concept of yeah, where I'm at. So. Yeah, and definitely like your pain tolerance is a different level oh, than most. Oh, I'm at a ten for sure on mine, and this is probably a five for you. Mm, I think we're getting to a six or seven for you. Okay. She doesn't believe me. She she no, I don't. No, She's like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Like the baby. Oh, you feel this baby. Oh, my friend said to me that has gone through this that she felt the follicles more than she felt her child up until like 20 weeks. Because you can just feel these little follicles. Like it's so weird. You feel them. They're yeah. a part of you. They move all around. When you walk, they jiggle. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this and drive, and then here I am driving. Yeah. So, okay, well, I'll be at it. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. More follow stem. Two more days. <laughs> mm. I'm okay. I'm handling it better than I did the other day. In spite of the fact that I'm exhausted, worse, and have stomach problems. Yeah. I'm okay. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like, you're going to be going through this for nine months. And I'm very clear that there's a lot of pain involved in the process of growing a child. And I know that people get sick for the first trimester. Trimester. That's three months. I'm on three weeks, almost. And I'm... I'm perspective 
about this a little bit. So, I'm clear that this isn't the worst thing that's ever happened to a woman. Now, this might be one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah. As a Jamie. <laughs> Anyways, they're growing. Yeah. Um, they are they're not ready yet. I mean, they're not ready. If we trigger now, we only get like three. Yeah. What's, so, what would be the point of that? We're triggering on Wednesday. That's the plan. And she retrieval said trigger on Friday. Wednesday, retrieval Friday. That is... Ooh, did you hear that? Tommy's hungry. Um, we're going to Target right now to get some just additional stuff and to be able to. Like some waters and ginger ale and all the fun things. I'm going to be okay. Yeah. Take it easy. I'm going to eat what I normally eat. <laughs> she's like, I told her I had a salad the night before. And she's like, well, that makes you go to the bathroom. Do you normally eat a lot of salad? And I'm like, no, it's not really something I eat a lot of. So I should, but I don't. Well, don't do that. Don't add stuff that you don't normally eat. Like, I should really stick to what I know with my body right now. It's not the time to try to be healthy, like, in the midst of this. Um, not that I eat that bad. I'm not implying well, I eat that bad. I think that salad was, like, considered, like, the healthiest salad. Oh, it wasn't, like, a great salad. Well, I didn't know. It had, like, balsamic on it. And that doesn't normally come with balsamic in life. Yeah. I think that was very acidy. I'd like to say that that was the cause of the rest of life. Yeah. So yeah, two more trigger shots. One good piece of news is that I don't have a, I don't have a trigger shot on Thanksgiving. I thought there were two. But there's only one. There's a dual shot on Wednesday. Wednesday. So she'll get two shots for the trigger shot on Wednesday. And yep. then Thanksgiving, she'll be able to just take it easy. Take it easy. So we're not doing a trigger shot tonight. Amy's here. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's sitting right here with me. Oh, you're gonna make me sit the whole time? You can stand. I mean, you're on camera the whole time. <laughs> uh, no, you can no, you don't have to be on camera. No, you don't have to be ready. Are you not? I am. I am, I am camera ready. ready. I am. I see all that makeup. Yeah, do you see it? And how it's not, on, and it's like <laughs> under my eyes because I haven't slept in uh, so long. Anyway, so hi. Oh, gloves. Where's your gloves? Excuse me. Thank you, Amy. You made me wear the gloves. Yes, I did make Amy wear the gloves. That's kind of my value to be involved in this picture. Because you have your gloves. But anyways, so we're not doing trigger shot today. We are not. Because they want them to grow more, which is fine. That's good. Yes. Here's my butt crunching. Um, they're growing. They get they're to grow. growing. They get to grow more. And so um, they were... I don't want to do, um, there's another update, I don't know. They were, so today, oh my god, that was weird. Uh, pretty much the left side's kicking butt. It's at a 25.5, a 23, a 15.5, a 17.5, a 20.5, a 17.5. But the 25 and the 23 now at this point with more stems are going to fall off. They're going to be too big. So we're really hoping for the right side to get to like about 18 to 22 probably would be ideal. Okay. Does that sound about right? Yeah. So there's a 14, a 12 and a half, an 18, a 17 and a half, a 14 and a half, a 12 and a half, a 17, a 14 and a half, a 13, a 12 and a 14. And that's pretty good there's growth. There's a lot on that side. There's a lot on that side going on. And the last time there were like eights and nines and tens and now there's no eights, nines, tens or eleven. There's my big belly in my pictures. Um, Oh, stop. So I, my quote for tonight is, the lows are disappointing, but that makes the highs much sweeter. That's what drives you to compete. So obviously, I'm not competing necessarily, but it is a little bit of a competition with my ability to handle pain yeah. and my ability to just, Bella, I don't know why this game is happening right now. She doesn't like the gloves, but she wants to be over here. <laughs> She can't decide. Bella, you have to choose the gloves. Yeah, <laughs> Bella, come on. Just jump. You gotta stop. Why don't you like the gloves? I'm just trying to pick up. She's trying to pick up. Oh my god, Bella. So, here's the thing about what's gonna happen. We are going to do stems for two more days. Bella's okay. Um, so tonight and tomorrow. And tomorrow will mark. This one is so hard. 
The 15, I'm trying to distract everybody from your inability to get it. They didn't give you, they, they give don't you another little, small uh -huh. logo. We yeah, don't have huh? a mixing one. I don't think they really know what they're doing. And we're probably, Bad luck, honey. the pharmacy gave us. Yeah, that. it's weird. I'm going to risk my cleanliness for you. Oops. So. Yeah, I don't know. And, well, the thing with this little sodium chloride thing is. We're having another needle situation. It, it's just harder to suck it out of this one. I don't know, maybe I'll try it from the bottom. Here, Jamie, hold this. Okay. There's a dog. <laughs> and a glove. She probably think, she probably like thinks of the vet when she sees. Oh, I'm dog. sure. Like, we're test, we're checking on you. Coordinator came into the room and said, <laughs> "I have some good news and I have some bad news." And she handed me the Folistin, and that was the bad news. But then she said, "The good news is that we're gonna do the trigger shot on Wednesday and retrieve Friday." So Thanksgiving, I'll be full of eggs, which is fine. I'll be laying around. I just can't make, help make the pies or whatnot. I don't think I would have done that. I don't think you would make the pies. Yeah. Normally, yeah. I'm not just really much of a baker eggs. or anything, but I will probably make some eggs. Hopefully. You're making eggs. I'll make and the actual dough eggs. Yeah. Um, and so that's that's happening. And then, um, so something that I, I sat down and tried to get, I was pretty positive during it. I know I didn't cry when they told me, which was surprising because I was very tired and not feeling well. Yeah. Um, but. Tomorrow will be 15 shots of the Falstam and Menapir, which is Tim Tebow's number. It's 15. He's not in, he doesn't have it right anymore. <laughs> but he, 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 <laughs> he doesn't have it anymore. He's, I'm sure he still has it. Actually, I think he might still have that number. For, no, I don't know if he does for, well, for baseball? baseball. I'm not. I don't remember. I thought it might actually be 15 now that he moved. I think he still is 15. Yeah, I think it's his number still, even given all the things. But it was like his number of college, and then it was his number of the Broncos. And, but then he did switch numbers one time in the NFL when he had a brief showing at the Eagles. Um, and that was um, the 11, which is a good number for me. And then that would also be the amount of Ganarelic, Ganarelic shots that I did. I have no, a lot of free time apparently on my brain. <laughs> I'm just trying to make myself excited. If you add up all the shots with the trigger shots, then it's 28, which is my golden birthday number. And I also happen to have a birthday on the 28th. Bella Marie! Oh, she's, she's very so mean. Funny. Well, she's got to get used to him. He lives here. Um, no. So, I don't know, I'm trying to find the positive and the silver lining and all the things. Um, so there's lots of numbers that are looking good. So, anyways, are you ready or something? Yeah. I'm just chilling. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's happening with the numbers. So I'm feeling like that's fine. And so then technically this is two more shots. Right. Of this. Of the stem. Of the stems. And hopefully that'll be fine. And hopefully my stomach will let me sleep tonight or all of this will because I really need some rest. Don't bite. No biting. Russell Wilson ran for 16 yards. Sorry, I'm watching on the thing. Um, I'm not good at like walking away from things. Are we left? We are left. Left we are. Mess. Okay. I'll play this one. I'm kind of hoping it's Jimmy, Jimmy Graham's 11 yards. It's just going right now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm a little nervous about this new like needle. You know, I had Jimmy Graham last year and I was such a big fan. And you loved him, yeah. This year I'm just like, you need to chill. Yeah, Baldwin's my guy. He's not on your team. Don't bite. Yeah, but so I don't think the shot's a big deal. So Yeah. But it's like... What? I don't think they're going to give you a needle that's not right. It's too small. Like, but it's not too small, it's fine. It's gonna go. I would just wonder if it'll feel different. I wonder if it'll go into a different area. I feel like it would feel, if anything, less. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm, my yeah. thinking is. But I don't think it'll fit. Would you stop? No biting! You don't do that. Thank you. You're gonna have to get down. I... Ah! You okay. felt that one a little bit more. I felt no. that one a lot more. That's weird. It's fine. I don't care. I'm fine. I didn't pick the needle. I think I didn't squeeze you as hard. That's Jesus, probably Jesus, yeah. Come on, man. I'll squeeze you harder next time. Could you? <laughs> Distract you? you? No, it wasn't. It hurt. <laughs> I'm so tired of hurting. I know. Ugh. Man. Burns again. Like hard burn. It's 
probably just the area. It just happens to be one of the painful shots. It just happens. That, that area always hurts you more, too. That's the area that's staying bruised longer, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Fine. Alright, we got two minutes left in this game. Chelsea's game is on the line. There's a touchdown to Bobbitt! Oh, no! Like a 60 oh, yard oh, one or something. Shut up. 30. No way. 30 yard touchdown. Oh. Russell Wilson to Baldwin. Okay, yeah. Check fantasy. That's gonna be. 116, 114. That's what you get for talking shit to me. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's not over there. I can't. Everybody's off. <laughs> So, I always cut off my head. There's three minutes left so. in the game, or whatever, and the so Falcons are up by one, or up by three, so they're gonna wanna just run the clock down with running. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, we're good. We're hopefully, going. I mean, but the thing is, do you care if the Seahawks lose? Are you cool with that? You know, it makes me kinda sad, because I saw how the game was going, but at this point, fantasy lands where I'm at, so. Okay, because this is good stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm loving it. Let's go. <laughs> That's exciting. Shoot me in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> It hurts in the butt. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's like starting something. to feel like it's paralyzing me. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like... I told, uh, <laughs> I told Michelle today that we look like tweakers with all our needles. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think we have a drug problem. <laughs> it hurts real bad. Still. Okay. Okay. Uh, just, I don't know. Just go. <sighs> okay. Here you go. I hate this so much. I really do. You know. Oh, God, I hate it so much. I just hate it. You're almost done. Like, oh, legit. You need to do this one more time, like for real. Like not a, not a. It's gonna be one more time. Like it's a hopefully, Maybe. yeah, for real. Yeah, like, like it's a. Like, God, everything burns. It's a good night for everyone. It's burning. <laughs> he was sacked. Matt Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, he was finally <laughs> fucking Seahawks defense. I mean, that's not great because now the Seahawks get the ball back and he can throw it to Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson or Wilson could throw it to. Graham and Graham will get more points for it. You know, there are a lot of possibilities. There's a lot. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Thanks.